presentation is brought to you by the Beljanski Foundation. Over 50 years of research towards curing cancer the natural way. So, as I said before, first of all, thank you all for coming because 20 minutes of your life represents a very important section of it. I'm, I just turned 71 last month. I don't dye my hair. That's one of the benefits of ozone, retards the aging process. But um, uh, it's when you start to get older, you learn that time is everything, everything. And the key is to grow old and be well. And that's what this whole meeting that Alex puts on is about, how to grow old and be well. The problem that people face is that they don't care about that until something happens and you develop something that now you've got to fix so you can try and grow old and be well. And uh, the good news, I said I have good news and even better news. So I used to start off with I have some bad news and good news. I changed it. Um, it there's little doubt that sometime in your life, somebody you know and love is going to become seriously ill with something. It, this is a very filthy world we live in, uh, and we're doing everything we can as quickly as we can to make it more toxic every day. So the key is that you can't always fix the world. You can't fix your environment. What you have some control over is yourself, your own internal environment. And that's where I, ozone comes in. Ozone, unfortunately, until now, has been the last resort because people don't know it exists. They don't know it's been around in what I call the modern ozone era for about 70 or 80 years. Hundreds of research papers published on it around the world, but they don't know that it exists. Uh, and if you don't know, you don't know, and you don't know what it can do. Um, for the last, since 1990, so this is our 29th year, over, over 300,000 intravenous ozone therapies done. Um, there's various ways of using it, but the most effective and powerful ways are where we put it in one wet manner or another into your blood directly. And um, it destroys every virus, every fungus, every yeast, every mold. All bacteria and spirochetes, parasite toxins, harmful free radicals, and it'll chelate toxic metal uh, out of your body and off nerve tissue where all the damage is done. So just chelating it out is one thing, but if you don't take it off the nerves, meaning brain tissue or peripheral nerves, it's still going to continue to do damage and no other chelator will do it but ozone. Um, I didn't make this up. I just became very good at it and world renowned with it now uh, because of over 300,000 intravenous therapies done over 28 plus years. That's probably more than the several hundred doctors now who do it in North, Central and South America. Worldwide, there's tens of thousands of us doing it. I just became very well known. I just came back from Costa Rica talking about Lyme, my new Lyme protocol and, and herpes. Um, uh, tomorrow at my workshop, we'll have an hour, I can really get into how ozone works um, and, and how it affects Lyme disease and whatnot. So some of the good news is next, um, next month, uh, not next month, this is still April, in June, I will be published in a pain management journal, the first one in the world ever to fix chronic, uh, um, uh, chronic regional pain syndrome, CRPS. And um, we've had nothing but amazing results with it. So um, uh, that'll be our, uh, the second uh, publication. The first publication, this is how you get recognized in this country because traditional medicine only lives by what you publish. And um, we are, we are, so we're published in that. Um, we, are, we just submitted to a virology journal, um, success we've had with measles, that's big in the news, right? So we fixed measles, I fixed measles like that in the past. I've seen ozone do that. So uh, where we just submitted a publication on um, how ozone works against viruses and measles and all those things. And there's no, Va virus, fungus, yeast, or mold, or bacteria that can mutate into a form that it can't fix, that it can't eliminate. Um, unless it's made in a military lab, then you can make anything resistant to anything. 
but putting aside in nature, nothing can you know, mutate uh, into a form that it won't destroy. That's the beauty of it. The first publication we've spoken about here at the Expo a number of times uh, was in 2014 when I went to Africa to Sierra Leone on invitation of the president of, the Sierra, of Sierra Leone at the time during the Ebola epidemic. And I had to miss one of the naval expos, that's what the, this, this meeting was called, because I was in a, I had to stay at home in a semi-quarantine after I came back to make sure I didn't give Ebola to everybody, which was pretty good. But we published in the African Journal of Infectious Disease, which is a peer-reviewed medical journal, that we were successful in destroying Ebola very, very quickly. I met with the minister of um, the ambassador to the UN from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, where the wor second worst outbreak ever is taking place right now. And um, uh, last June, and we're waiting to see after all the political turmoil is resolved there if they'll send doctors here for training. I train doctors from around the world and also around the US all the time. So if you're in my office, there's always good. Frequently each month, there'll be doctors coming in for training. They spend three days with me to learn um, to, how to do, the, do it my way. Um, I was very fortunate in, um, I don't see him, Mark? He left. Unf well, Dr. Tannenbaum, my old partner of many years, came back to visit me and he's working with me now. So we were able to open up the office for more hours uh, he thought he was just going to say hello, and I told him, you ain't going anywhere, and now he's working back with me again, so we have more hours. My office is in Manhattan. No way out. You got to go to Manhattan for the consult and first treatment. The good news is I live in Westbury, right by Eisenhower Park on the golf course side, and I do let patients come to the home weekday mornings between 7 and 8 a.m. as a convenience location to get the treatments once you're established in the city as a patient. That usually questions that come in, so I may as well get that out of the way. Um, three years ago, um, a good friend, and she lets me speak about it, Marla Maples, you know who she was, is, really? Okay, don't hold it against her. <laughs> I asked her during the election, how, why can't he just keep his big mouth shut? He'll do better. And she said, if he knew how to do that, I'd still be married to him. And it was very funny. So she brought me to a, an organization called the Global Lyme Alliance. And this is a major fundraising organization that raises money for Lyme research. Well, at that time, they all knew of me, but they weren't interested. Things have changed. I uh, fixed so many people that are big shots in the organization. They now are going to be, we're putting together a research study at the University of Connecticut on Lyme disease and ozone. First, it'll be an animal study because you got to follow the scientific methods. And uh, it'll only be mice, so you don't have to lose too much sleep over the fact that some mice may not make it, but the ones that will make it will be because ozone destroyed the Lyme in them and we're going to publish. This could make it standard of care medicine in this country within the decade, which will answer the question, uh, does insurance pay for this? Because the answer is no, it doesn't, because it's not standard of care medicine. They don't even want to pay for traditional medicine, let alone standard of care, uh, something out of the box. But by making it standard of care, it'll do that. Now, I also saved the life of one of the principals at the Cleveland Clinic a few years ago. So we presented to the Cleveland Clinic, and we're hoping to get a study going there on for the question that the gentleman asked, chronic fatigue syndrome. Now, we've got some real issues at the Cleveland Clinic because the place is amazing. Um, and um, uh, they do everything extremely strictly. So getting the legalities out of the way to do a, a study there, which will probably cost several million dollars, um, is not a small thing. So we've been working on that for the past couple of years, and I think we're going to have a breakthrough there with that. So my goal is to make this, this is part of my life's work. I, you know, I turned 71, as I said. My wife says, everybody starts toning things down at your age. You're toning things up. I'm boosting things up. I'm getting more involved than ever before. And um, 
because I want to see this standard of care. This is the most amazing medicine I've ever seen. I've come across in all my years in practice. And that's key to understand it. It's medicine. It's just medicine. When have you ever taken a medicine once to get rid of a problem? We take our medicine daily, usually several times. I don't care if it's everything everybody here is offering. I mean, you could take all the herbs you want. You don't just take herb, an herbal product or a drink once in a month and hope that it's going to get rid of your troubles that you've had for the last 20 years. You have to take your medicine regularly. And the more often you get the medicine, the faster you're going to get rid of your problems. So we learned years ago that three treatments a week, four treatments a week will eliminate most everything in most everybody. But now, I developed, because of Ebola, which we didn't need for Ebola, a method that we call Fast Track, Robin's Fast Track, where we do up to two or more treatments a day, six days a week. So instead of doing 12 in a month, I can do 12 or more in a week with the idea being kill, 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 doesn't give anything a chance to regrow, regenerate, or duplicate. And now, Another thing that you didn't ask before, but you should, you, know, you probably will, is the adverse reactions. And we've had nine patients have their head fall off right after the treatment. We put the heads back on with crazy glue. It worked really well. They, they were able to go on and live a very healthy, no, not, not, nine patients developed a, ten, this, this is true, a temporary rash, so I stopped treating them. And here's why. In New York State, if I kill you with a pharmaceutical, they could care less. Hurt one person with ozone, I'm not standing in front of you ever again. I'm out of business. And believe me, my state board knows who I am and knows that I do ozone therapy. I am not under the radar even a little bit at this point in time. Um, uh, they didn't like my website. I had to go change my website to make them happy. Bottom of it all is, um, uh, Nine patients developed, and only two had what I might call a real sensitivity reaction to it, where I had to really stop. The other seven could have been purging something. Uh, and in this group, I don't have to explain what I mean, thank God, when I say the word purging. But I can't take chances, so I stopped treating them. But there are side effects, and you're going to get them whether you like them or not. There's no way out, so you just have to deal with it. Hair and nails grow longer, stronger, healthier, and faster. Skin takes on a healthier look because it gets rid of all sorts of skin problems. You fall asleep easier, you sleep better, you need less sleep. I sleep about four and a half hours a night, give or take. Sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. Depends on how stressed out I might have been the day before. Um, uh, more stamina and endurance. And there's all science around this. I'm, I'm telling you what it does, but there's science around why it does these things. Uh, it acts as a painkiller and an anti-inflammatory. Um, uh, oh, biggie. This is the biggie. It stimulates na now the research from Europe. That's where all the research is, and it gets translated into English. Um, all the research comes out of Europe. It's now showing that it stimulates natural stem cell activity in your body. And it's stem cells that do what I call fix the unfixable and repair the unrepairable. It explains why we've had success with things that no one would have believed, including me, that we could have had success with it. And I always like to say somewhere around this point in time, no moral and ethical doctor should ever promise or guarantee a result. Even if I was successful 10,000 patients before you with your exact problem, you never know what's going to happen on 10,001. But the good news is if we accept you as a patient, we expect to win. Because that's what we do. That's what this medicine does. The key is to stay with it long enough. And now you're going to ask me, and people usually do, what do you mean by long enough? How many treatments will I have? I hear these same questions all the time. And the answer is, there is no way to know how long enough. And I would be the one that would know because I've done more than all the doctors collectively, I told you, in all three Americas um, in terms of volume of treatments over the years. So what, what does long enough mean? Literally, with any medical problem you're concerned about, it could take 20 treatments or less 
I call those ozone miracles, and you could be the next one, but miracles are few and far between, or else we wouldn't call them miracles. Or it could take 200 treatments or more, and that seems like it's taking forever, and you, you know, you're my life's work or something. Thank God that's rare. Or any number in between 20 and 200, which is the most common. You, but the good news is, I told you I'm only gonna give you good news, by 24, 36, 30, 40 treatments, you already know it's working. That doesn't mean you won't know it's working on treatment one, two, or three. The sicker a person is sometimes, the sooner they notice a difference. But early on, you don't have to do this for a year or two. I mean, many, many times over the years, I've seen people take all sorts of supplements for a year or more, spending fortunes, and it didn't make a difference. But you didn't know that, and you did it for a long time, and it helped minimally, perhaps. This you know pretty quickly, it's working, or it, maybe it isn't gonna work for you. And that's why, but the success rate is so high, the benefits are so high, and we, by the way, speaking about that, speaking about that, we are not interested in our office in getting you better. You know, everybody else will get you better. We're interested in eliminating your problem permanently, completely, once and for all. And we have, and develop protocols around that idea. You can't promise and guarantee results, but the goal is to get rid of it once and for all. Now, if you want to speed things up, do everything that's in the room there. I mean, how are you supposed to have a healthy body if you don't have healthy drinking water? Jose has my whole house done with a whole water. Am I supposed to promote everybody else? He has my whole house watered <laughs> so that it's purified water, absolutely purified water, and I won't go into it. And, um, um, but all the other doctors out, Gary DeBrant is going to come and work with me now. He, we just moved our office, we're moving our office downstairs in the building to a much larger room. Uh, you know, office, and Gary's coming in a couple of days a week because he does everything I don't do, okay? I only do ozone therapy. Uh, that's all we do. And um, with that, I will be at my booth the rest of today, and then tomorrow we got a full hour lecture at 11 a.m., and then I can answer all questions. You're welcome if you want to have a little bit more on the questions you've already asked me. Come over to my booth now. I don't want to disturb the people that are going to be up here speaking. Are you talking next? Mike Berlin, don't miss it. Talk to me after he's done speaking, okay? And I thank you all very much.